Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 2016 Peter Rabbit 50p from the first year of Beardrich Potter coins released on 50ps to go into our change. And here you can see the design, which I'll first go over. So we can see in the centre stage here a picture of Peter Rabbit. This is a design by Emma Noble, and you can see there to the bottom of the coin, on the right side of Peter Rabbit, the initials EN for Emma Noble, the designer. We can see Peter there looking out of the coin there, with large whiskers and large ears of course, as he is a rabbit. To the top of the coin are the words Peter and Rabbit, so this tells us the character on the coin, of course as we know, Peter Rabbit. Now Peter Rabbit was on many coins over many years, mainly 50p's, and then he moved on to £5 coins, but this here is the first design, the first time Peter Rabbit appeared on British coinage. So this is the first design we see. Now unlike older coins, you will see there's no milling or teeth around the rim. This is because not many people clip coins anymore, as there's no metal content worth having, and the regular shape will make it obvious if it has happened. Now you will have seen we're now on to the obverse of the coin, we can see a portrait here of Queen Elizabeth II. This is the fifth and final portrait of her, done by Jodie Clark, and the initials JC, or Jodie Clark, can be seen below the Queen's portrait. She is facing to the right, and wearing a crown and earrings on her portrait. Around her is the Latin legend, abbreviated, and it reads, Elizabeth II, DG, Reg, FD, 50 pence, 2016. So in English this reads, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith, 50 pence, 2016, giving us the denomination and year the coin was made, the monarch, and how she's been chosen by God to rule. So there we go, that's the design on both sides, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures of the 2016 Peter Rabbit 50p. A coin minted at the Clantricent Mint in Wales, the Royal Mint's new base after 1968 to present day. The coin is composed of a cupro nickel alloy. This consists of 75% copper and 25% nickel, the standard composition for 50 pences ever since they were first released in 1969. This coin weighs 8 grams, as is one of the smaller 50p's after being downsized in 1997 to set at the new weight of 8 grams and the new diameter, smaller diameter of 27.5 millimeters. But still, one of the larger coins we'll use and see in your change day today is the 50p. This coin is a mintage of 9,700,000, so quite a high mintage there, almost 10 million of them out there, so by no means a rare 50p like the Kew Gardens or Olympic coins. Now 50 pence is of course worth 50 pennies, this is then one half of a pound, so there are two of these coins, two 50p's to every British pound sterling. And in 2016 when the coin was released, 50p is now worth 70 pence in today's money. So since it's released in 2016, the coin has lost buying power and lost value. And of course the coin is still legal tender and can still be readily spent and used in shops all over the country to this day. And now we'll have a look at the value of the coin today for collectors looking to buy one to add to their 50p collections. In a poor condition it's worth around 50 pence, in fine condition it's worth around 50 pence, in extremely fine condition it's worth around 65 pence and around £1.25 in uncirculated grade with no damage, marks or dirt on the coin in the highest possible condition. So there we go, please do comment down below if you have a Peter Rabbit 50p, and do you collect 50ps as part of your coin collecting portfolio. If you've enjoyed and liked, then please do subscribe, and of course thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye!